What's going on, YouTube folks out there, Facebook friends, people of Black Junction TV? My name is Ademir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. And, you know, as we move toward the election and as we deal with uh, different celebrities and, and uh, personalities out there trying to downplay the plight of black people, trying to excuse uh, segregation and slavery and try to make claims that black people should just get over it like Akon or openly tell us that they're not going to do anything for us like Kamala Harris, who is running to be vice president of the United States of America. Um, I, I just take a step back and mentally slap the hell out of whatever line of reasoning you conjure up to say those things. Because what you just saw there was, as I quite often put, terrorism. White supremacy is terrorism. And there is information that's still coming out and still will be coming out even after this video is posted because I've yet to hear or see who this officer is. And if you guys know who this officer is, we need to know because bottom line, there was a video put online, the same one that you guys just saw. And the narrative that's being put out there is that this officer here, this suspect race soldier, and I'm waiting to see whether it's confirmed, decided that he was going to arrest a black woman because she was being too loud. Now, imagine that. Imagine you as a black woman finding yourself in this position because a suspect race soldier got his feelings hurt. And I have links posted in the description uh, I know MTO has done somewhat of an article on this and, and they're also saying that more information is forthcoming. I actually came across this story by following the good Bishop Swan on Twitter and I was able to read off uh, the, the side arm patch of that officer to figure out where this actually took place. And this took place out there in Gwinnett County, folks. This video comes out of the great state of Georgia, folks. Out there near the, or right around the Stone Mountain area, where we recently just had some marches, right? Where it's known as the, uh, 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 what do you call it? The, the bed haven of the KKK. Not even sure if that's the right term, but you understand what it is I'm trying to tell you. Right out there in Atlanta, while we have... Folks out there more interested in li living the rainbow lifestyle and, and, and twerking up all over the goddamn place. This took place out there. And what is a shame is that this guy felt bold enough to do that in front of all of those women. There wasn't a single male there. 
we could have an entire conversation on that. But part of me sincerely wished in my heart of hearts that they would have jumped his ass. Part of me wished in my heart of hearts that they would have gotten together, unified on his ass, and performed a, what we call, citizen's arrest for attempting to terrorize innocent civilians. But what hurt me the most watching this video is right after she was tased. And, and let me not skip over, gloss over how he did this because after he got done wrestling, because even the woman in the uh, uh, white top there that you see, uh, she was sitting down, the, the woman in the black, you guys saw the video, she moved behind her and, and, and the woman in the white, you know, attempted to move back. She was trying to, you know, trying to prevent this officer from doing something stupid but it was he was too far gone his feelings were already hurt he has the badge he has the gun he has the mace he has the taser he has it all so he ain't gonna let no black woman tell him a damn thing so he ain't give a damn about wrestling that woman from behind that chair he ain't give a damn about either one of them falling and when he pulled out his taser he he so casually made sure to say, taser, taser, didn't he? And the look on this woman's face after she was tased and after he began barking out commands that she roll over on the dirt, on the ground, in the middle of those bushes, because he didn't give a damn. The look on her face was one that said, man, this is some bullshit. It's the year 2020 and I as a black individual have to deal with going to prison having charges placed against me resisting arrest and all of that other crap because I hurt someone's feelings who so happened to be a white male the look on her face is a look that so many black people have had on their faces now, I didn't quite capture it the way it should have been captured, but I did my best. Almost looks like a smirk where the disbelief gets confronted with the hard reality. So when you guys sit here and talk uh, and tout up these, these, these celebrities like Akon who just tells us we should get over it. When other folks sit there and cheerlead for Kamala Harris. When she openly told you she ain't doing a damn thing for your black ass. No. Remember that? When folks sit here and come along like that Kim Classic chick out there wearing them red dresses talking about reparations uh, uh, is dead on arrival. It's unrealistic. It will never happen. I say look at this. Look at this terrorism. This isn't due to police training. This is due to a racist, white supremacist system that's been allowed to remain in place while they change certain names and change certain faces and put on certain facades. But at the end of the day, the root core of it all is still there and you as a black individual need to recognize that and don't let nobody tell you what can't be done don't let nobody tell you what you need to get over this is wrong and i would love to be proven wrong in this case i would love for somebody to tell me i got it all wrong i would love for somebody to show me how the initial arrest was necessary and legally justified. Nah, that officer should have been surrounded, and he was. All of them should have taken action. And yes, I understand that they're female. And yes, I understand that that is a large part of the reason why he decided to go about it the way he did. Because I know for a fact, 
had he been in the midst of a bunch of grown males, grown black males at that, he wouldn't have acted out the way he did. But at the end of the day, who's to say that one of the black males wouldn't have ended up dead as a result either? So I would love to hear more of this story. My whole thing is that when you see terrorism take place, you got to do something about it. People are going to get hurt. People are going to die. I think to myself all the time, how can I maneuver in such a way where I'm effective, but also keep my life? And in many cases, I'm uncertain as I play these things out in my head. But one thing's for certain, if nothing else, mentally, I am preparing myself for that day because I could not be on that porch as a man seeing an officer deciding that he was going to arrest a woman for seemingly no reason. Once the wrestling started, I could very well have found myself in a position where I could be dead or put in prison for several years. But things are going to have to take place beyond recording. I'm glad they recorded. I'm glad they recorded. And again, I am looking forward to seeing the rest of the story come out. I am very interested in hearing what the Gwinnett County Police Department will have to say about it all. But make no mistake about it. That what you saw took place on your screen is evil. It's wicked and should not have taken place again. And I will leave you with that same snippet. You guys let me know how you feel about this situation. Feel free to holler at me. My name is Ottoman. Peace. Care. So we can okay. talk if we want to. Leave, you can go to I'm, I'm not going nowhere. It doesn't matter. You're on our property. Okay. We did not call you. you. I'm not going anywhere. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. I'm not resisting you. You're under you. arrest. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Come here. Leave her alone. Can I please get your name? Taser to Floyd. Can I please Turn get over. your name? Mom, Turn can over. I please get your name?